does somebody out of a burning building have to do with human rights? I'm talking oh, about point, human man. rights. Don't you know what a yeah. fundamental human right is? Yeah, Brian, oh, this, okay, this, he's man. deflecting. You you keep deflecting. That's the that's the <laughs> point right. that Kev was making. Wait, wait, real quick. You deflecting. My question. It's a human right. It's it's equal hum, humane rights regarding life. Okay, if a, 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 a ship is sinking and we have to take him out, answer the question and stop deflecting. So, this guy is waffling, man. Let Jordan, speak. Let, Jordan speak. let Jordan speak. Let Jordan let Jordan speak to me with a question. Go on, Ibrahim. Maybe yeah, I'm not, the way you're saying. Wait, 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 this is the thing. Real quick, before Brian. I leave it to Jordan. Ibrahim, before I leave it to Jordan. Jordan yeah, yeah. But before I leave it to Jordan, I just want to say I asked him two questions and he deflected both of them. I so there you go. Okay, okay. Forget that. Let's get to the misogyny. You mentioned misogyny. You mentioned yeah, right. Okay, I, 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 I want to hear the point, man. That's it. He's talking about. I would like to. You talked a lot of earlier about covering of women as some kind of misogynistic. Uh, thing as well. I, I'd like to ask: Have you ever, have you ever met a Muslim woman, a covered woman? Have you ever, ever ever asked any questions about it? If I'm living in Abu Dhabi and in Doha, do you think I've met an Islam Muslim woman? Do you think I know you're living in Abu Dhabi, Do Doha, wherever you are? Oh, I thought you knew. Uh, but you've yeah. been on the gin and tonic. We have, oh. We've we've talked about this. I've never been on gin and tonic. Oh, sorry. Then it's the same picture. I'm, I thought. You you have a very similar accent and you have a very similar picture, then it's my mistake. I'm sorry. Okay, so you, you've spoken to Muslim women and, and you you sort of, that are covered. And if you sort of come to the conclusion that they are made, they're oppressed by a husband, so that the men are, are making them wear it? No. 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 So how is covering, how is a woman covering linked to misogyny? It's what you did earlier. It is misogynistic to expect a woman to be covering her. But the men, if the men aren't making her wear it, how is that misogyny? It's called indoctrination. It's called brainwashing. Oh. It is called bringing a woman to believe that she's doing no, no, no. something you, good. You, you clearly don't know what misogyny means. Okay. Misogyny is, is obviously the man making the woman do things. It, or, or in society, the male's doing doing it. If, if, it's, no. if, if she's doing no, it because it's smart... Please do not well. misrepresent me. Please don't tell me what I think. Don't tell me what I'm thinking before I'm telling you what I think. Go on then, go on. Well, thank you. He does not know what misogyny means. That's that's the problem. You see, again, another guy tells me means. I don't know what misogyny. You're Why don't simple... you ask me what is misogyny? Because you contradict you yourself. Ask? You contradict yourself clearly to me. Uh, I said to you, uh, is it men making them wear it? You said no. It is not. So therefore, it's not a misogynistic practice for a woman to cover. It is. Go, go on, explain that. Okay. Thank you. It is Islam that is doing that because in Islam you have sentences which are being interpreted as meaning that a woman has to cover herself, even though the Quran doesn't say it, but in the Hadith it does come up. And that is why women believe that they are doing something good by covering themselves to protect themselves from the men who can't control themselves so that they need to go and do something so that the men don't get excited. You, you believe you believe that it's because men can't control themselves. That's why women have to cover. No, that's not what I believe. Well, that's what you just said. You just said no, I said that's what Islam says. Can you show me where does it say that men in Islam can't control themselves? Because they are, and and do you it believe says that, this everywhere? It says, is a woman allowed to be an imam? No, because men in, would in only Quran, to take shape, look at her form. that the woman is stronger than the man in that way. It does. It doesn't make it as a weakness to the man. It gives it as a strength to the woman. The woman is actually stronger in that sense. Okay, uh, tell me when you, you're going to take a 30-second break so I can answer your question. Have, have I been over-speaking or something? I've asked you to, you've, yes. already, you've already done two contradictions, and I've only spoken for about, I don't know, 20 seconds in total. Yeah. Okay, show me the contradictions. Uh, one is misogyny. What is the contradiction if I say misogyny? Because oh, it wasn't misogyny, that's what. You know, if, if, you, if you look at it from an Islamic perspective, if Allah is ordaining that women cover, for their own protection, and, no, and, 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 let, and let's say let's say it's also because uh, it's not just that it's for their Muslim identity. Uh, there, there are many reasons why we might cover them, and I, I, I expect you haven't really asked many uh, genuinely about it because I have I have since converting, so I've, I've got a good idea as to why women are wearing it, uh, and, it and it isn't for misogynistic reasons. Uh, and misogyny, by definition, would be their husbands, men in society, forcing them to wear it. It's wrong. That's not yeah, my it, it is wrong. It is wrong. You're right. It is wrong. 
So now it's indoctrination. He admitted it wasn't misogyny, it was indoctrination. In Islam, you're not allowed to force the woman to wear a hijab, so let's push that to one side. Yeah, and do, do you agree that there are actually rules that men can't, you know, men, men have to look away. Men, you can't even take a second look at a beautiful woman or, or a woman in general. Exactly. So, so, so men are men are commanded to. It's not like men are animals going around, you know, you know, rampant sex predators, and women have to cover up in the corner. Um, and and like I say, you're, you're living in a Muslim country, so surely you know this. Are you going to keep quiet now? I'm still <laughs> waiting because you said I've, I've yeah, made yeah, two yeah, contradictions. Here's how it works. Here's how it works. When I when I stop and I pause for three seconds, that can be your cue to come in. You don't need me to give you permission. But well, as soon as I start talking, you start talking. So, you know, somehow this doesn't work because I did not make a three second pause. What you did, you said I made two contradictions and then you said one contradiction was I said misogyny. It sounds to me like you are just going to argue about debating rather than actually the point. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's, that's what you do. You, we can't, why can't you just stick on the points that we've been discussing rather than talking about let me speak and... That is exactly what I've been trying to do, and I have been unable so far. Okay, I'm giving up for 30 seconds. You can speak. Great. Now, let me start from the beginning. I was asked, what is it about Islam that I don't like? And I said, well, there's different ways of looking at Islam. There's two different areas. There's two different areas in the world, the outlook, and some of the ideas in Islam are not good ideas. One of the ideas that I find incredibly bad, horrible, and totally um, repulsive is misogyny in the ideology of Islam. One such thing is, for example, the covering, the non-equal rights, that the equal rights of the human being, as were uh, stipulated in the United Nations, 19, was it 1950 or 1948 um, declaration, is totally different in the 1990 Cairo declaration of, for the Islamic version. And this is what I was saying. Now tell me where the contradictions are. Um, well, look, we've already gone through misogyny. Obviously, it's clearly not it's not misogynistic if the men aren't. But look, we'll, we'll, we'll give up that point because I don't think you're going to um, understand what, what I'm saying. And also, we come from different viewpoints, aren't we? But I've got a question for you in terms of, because I think if we're honest as men, uh, and I know you're a feminist, but look, we're both men. I'm assuming you, you go out. I'm, sure, I'm assuming you interact with other women. Um, I, I've spoken to women that cover, so even women with niqab as well. And what they what they often say is that uh, they're, they're tired that when they wear it, it's liberating because they're tired of being judged on their looks. Uh, and as men, we will we will often treat pretty women or, or women wearing more revealing clothes better or differently to women that are covered. Um, and, and that's just that is in our nature. That doesn't mean that we are rapists or sex predators, but it, it's the way the world works. And any 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 honest man. Will know that. So, so this is not a misogynistic practice. It's actually it's a protection for the women. It it gives them, it empowers the woman, um, and and these are unanimous from the. I've spoken to you know, yeah, I don't know about hundreds, but I've spoken to many Muslim women since since my conversion uh, and learned much about it. Okay, misogyny refers specifically to hatred of women. The word is formed from the Greek root misane, to hate, and gene, woman. Each of these roots can be found in other English words, both common and obscure. So it is not about men. It is just the general hatred towards women. That did you, the definition did you listen to what I said? Sorry? Did you listen to what I just said, or were you looking at yeah. a dictionary? I was doing both. I, I, I can do both things at the same time. Okay, so... So you, you, have you made a point there, or shall I continue? No, you can continue because you haven't made a point yet. You, you're, just, you're just saying things. You're just saying that no, women no, no, don't here, believe this, happens. that they think it's good happens. and everything is perfect. I, and I'll tell you what I'm just going to, okay, you're talking. Okay, you talk. You, talk, you talk. you asked me to talk. This is what happened. You came out and said um, you don't like it because there's misogyny in the theology of Islam, and you don't like the fact that women cover. You also earlier suggested that it was to do with men not controlling themselves. I've just given you accounts and, and things of women um, and, and actually a different perspective, which you, you're just going to ignore. Okay, great. So you think that everything in Islam is hunky-dory and there is no such thing as misogyny. Is this correct? Did I say that? No, I'm asking you. Do I, do I think that um, Islam is misogynistic? No. Okay. So women and men should not inherit the same thing. 
Uh, no, I would say they should. They shouldn't inherit the same thing. They, okay. they, they, women should be told to cover themselves and not the men. Men do have to cover themselves. Do you think no, I not the same right way as the women do? No, because we're different. So yeah, men do have to cover, but yeah, we're different. So there should be remark, like outward differences between men and women. Okay, well then, can, let, can let me men ask, and women go to? Go, yeah, I, I'm going to cut you off here because let, let me ask you this: Can can a man? And a woman both walk down the street topless in your area. I wouldn't know. It's clearly that the woman can't walk around topless and the man can. Uh, why do you think well, that? A lot, of, a lot of women do. <laughs> yeah, but no, but come on, you know, obviously we are different. A woman can't walk around topless. Well, in the swimming pool, she can. In, on the beach, she oh, can. Okay. On, okay, in, okay. In, in, in places like that, she can, yes. Go on. I, I think, but I think that more or less refuted your point. It has not refuted my point. The point that I'm trying to make is, in my eyes, a woman should be able to decide what she is going to wear for what occasion and that she should decide where she goes and when, what, we, what she wears at to that occasion. In Islam, the choice of a lot of women is very, very limited. The women that I talk to, I mean, my colleagues are women. I work together with women and some are covered and some are not. Some some don't give a continental rat's ass about all the, um, the, the the misogyny in Islam. They just say no, this is not for me. I'm a woman of the 21st century. I'm here do, making uh, looking after my career. I don't need to dress like the women of the seventh century. And this is why Quranists, for example, don't cover because it's not in the Quran. They are saying we are going according to what the God told us in the Quran, and in the Quran it is not stipulated, and therefore we don't. And this is why I maintain that a man and a woman should have equal human rights and it should not be down to the, whether you can see a nipple or not. I am saying that a woman can be perfectly dressed while covering her nipple and we don't need to go to extremes. And this is what I am calling misogynistic in Islam. What you need to understand is, is we, we are Muslims, so we are going on, on God's, our creator's guidance. So, so for you, it may seem like seventh century but look, in 100 years from now, women might be showing their nipples and we might be having a completely co different conversation. The difference between me and you is your morality and your, your, your idea of modesty is going to change. Mine is going to stay the same the whole time. Um, so, so, yeah, it, it, you're, you're, all, everything you're saying is subjective, where, whereas what, what the woman is doing is she's following the guidance from, from Allah, from her creator. Whereas what you're saying is, oh, well, a woman should just be able to wear whatever she deems best. Well, part of being a Muslim is that you're not that arrogant to think that you know what's best for you. We believe that Allah knows what's best for us. So, so you may think you may think you know more than God, and and that's good for you. Uh, but <coughs> Muslims don't. Well, you call it arrogant if I maintain that if I look at reality, it is not the same as in the seventh century. I call it rea reality conscious. You, on the other hand, are arrogant. And you have the superiority complex that you are saying, I know better than you do. And my morals are absolute. And the way that they have behaved in the seventh century is still applicable today. And this is why I'm not going to update my knowledge. But no, we no. are not living in the seventh century anymore. There are women today who are earning a lot more than the husbands. There are women who have a family and the brother might be rich and then the brother still inherits the stuff and the woman who has the, the child, the, the children to look after and she's in, is in a job somewhere and she is not inheriting anything. And this is what I call misogynistic. There is, there is no way. You cannot refute that. It's a fact. I, I am refuting it. I'm, I'm going to refute any point you bring. The, the, do you really think Muslims uh, in Islam, um, women are not allowed to earn? Show me where it says That's women are not allowed to earn more than men. Stop misrepresenting me. That's what not what I said. said. That's what you just said. No, that's not what I said. You need now, to Jordan, just... now do you realize this is what I was telling you? Like people were thinking I was lying about. Listen to him now. I'm getting accused of misrepresenting you, and I'm, I'm, I'm verbatim. You, you, you just made a point that you know. Oh, nowadays, do you realize, Jordan, that that um that women are earning more than men? Well, that that's just a mute point because that that doesn't mean you know. Um, Khadija was was earning more than the Prophet peace upon him when they got married. So what? 
That's exactly my point. Today, there are a lot of women that earn more. There are a lot of women that earn less. There are a lot of women today that have a job and have kids. And if the father dies, they inherit half of what the brother inherits. And that is no longer applicable today. That is not just. Okay. Are you, are you making a point? or? I'm making a point. Refute it. What point did you make? Can you summarize it? Because I, I, I thought I refuted your point and then you repeated it. But you made the fourth time, but I'm making the same point. Today in the 21st century, we can have a brother who is rich and we can have a sister who is poor and has a family and a job. And yet, if the father dies, the son inherits double of what the woman, what the sister inherits. That's not just. Um, so so what, what, would, what would be just for you? Would it be that we have to take every individual circumstance in the case and then, you, and then what, 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 what's your solution to that problem? Because obviously in, in Islam, that the, the money is is mostly given to the man because the man has the responsibilities. Uh, I, I agree. As the family setups, um, you know, become a bit skewed in in modern day, this is going to become a, become tough. But uh, it is obviously the man is given the financial responsibility, and I would say that's a burden, not necessarily a privilege. Uh, okay. the, the man the man has to be responsible with this money. Uh, and as you know, you know, if if I when I when I get married, um, my the, if, if my wife is earning more than me. She, she can spend her money on handbags and whatever. I, as a man, have to fulfill my duty as a man. I have to look after and make sure I am looking after my children. I may have to make sure I pay the bills. That's not misogyny. That is actually um, a family setup, and it, it actually makes sense. Oh, I call that misogyny. If you automatically assume that the man is the head, the household head or the head of the household who takes the responsibility, that for me is misogyny. There you go. Okay, well, we, we disagree completely on that. For me, that is the, the man's role. to refute it. You haven't what, refuted what, it. All what, you've shown is what? that your moral standards are those of Arabia in the 7th century and mine are 21st century Europe. No, I'm, 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 currently, I'm, I'm on trial. You, you, I, I'm presenting, you know I'm a Muslim, and you are questioning it. I'm not even questioning what you, what you are. Uh, so so you, surely you have to refute me. I, I, I'm, I am, I'm saying to you that the man's role should be the provider, should be the one uh, going out. And this is... In, in most societies, the case, you are bringing an Why? argument just saying Why that that's, that's unfair. Your, 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 your argument, you, th you think your reputation is valid by just saying, oh, that's not fair. Yeah. Why should it be like that? Uh, why, why, why should the man be the, the sort of the, the protector and, and the, 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 the earner and, and the person who looks after the family? Well, I'll tell you why. Because the woman is best placed looking after the children. Um, yeah. So that would be one reason. And what else? Why, why is she better geared to look after the children? Why can't I look after children? I would say in general that, that the men are, are physically stronger, more able to work. Uh, I know that's not the case in all, in all careers. Um, I, I think the woman has to have children as well. So during this period, she's not able to work. So it makes sense for the man to work. Because obviously when she's having, you know, if you've got a woman falling pregnant, she's not going to be earning potentially while she's having the baby. So it makes sense for the man to be out working while the women, I mean, this is fairly obvious stuff. Uh, your, your feminist mindset is clearly, uh, I mean, are you married? Why are there any rules if the family consists of a husband and a wife? Why are there any rules? Why should I, if I am married to a woman, if there's a husband and a wife, why should I be the man in the household? Why should I be responsible? Well, well, I would say for numerous reasons. So I would give you the first thing, maybe your wife has children, and for the first two years, she is one. No children. Oh, Me so you don't, have, no you children. don't have any children. So, so why, why, should you, why should you be the protection your wife shouldn't? Yes. Well, look, you could go through many hypotheticals. You could tell me, you know, what if the what if the woman is physically stronger than the man? You could give me loads of hypotheticals, and obviously, I've given you one. I've given you one. Yeah, one single one. No, no, but you could give me loads. But obviously, I've given you one. Okay, you give me one, but is Islam has to have a standard, doesn't it? We have to have a standard no, where where that's where exactly our the misogyny. That's where I go against it, and that's why I'm saying it's not just. It's well, not then, just. And, and you will see, you will see the, the the proof is in the pudding, isn't it? When you look around society, no, uh, you see, you're just making assertions, but you're not refuting anything. You're not bringing up points. All you're doing is just talking. You're saying, "I'm right, I'm right, I'm right," and you're not. No, look, you've said to me, all you're, all you're saying is why shouldn't, me, why shouldn't me and my wife be completely equal? 
And, and I've, I've actually spoken for a while and given you several reasons. You're just choosing. No, you haven't. Them. You've, you've made up stuff. You have not told me one single reason why I should be the head of the household. Are you, are you a man? Yes, I think I am, yes. Okay. I've got a penis and balls, so I think I'm a man. Okay, but let me ask you, do you not do you not feel it your responsibility? Do you not feel protective as your wife? Do you not naturally feel that sort of burden and protector of her? Is that not something that's built in a man, or, or are you slightly different to the rest of us? I'm slightly different than the rest of us if that would be the case. It's not. Okay, so you, so, okay. so then, then maybe, you're, maybe you're just very different. But uh, like I said, for me, this, this is my belief. And to be honest, that doesn't mean that you're wrong. If if you are if you are living in a different way and things like that, that that that's down to you. The, the Quran sets guidance, which is best for society. Uh, and and I think society has lost lost its sort of family values. And and this feminism is a real cancer of of the man and woman becoming completely equal. Uh, and and I think it, there are examples where this can be real real problematic. Do you think that a man should be able to beat his his wife? No. No. Okay. Great. What's that got to do? It doesn't say that either. Well, tell me, tell me what the Quran says. Does the Quran allow a man to beat his wife? No. Well, first, let me let me ask you a question. Give me your definition of beat. Because when someone says beat to me, it means you get your fist and you, and you sort of give them a bit of a hit. No, to beat is to strike, slap in any way physically altercate with a woman so could i slap uh, my wife in the face no okay that's forbidden in islam oh really can you okay yeah all right do you think it's forbidden no, yeah, go on, go on, get, in, get into that i'll tell you you can't strike the face you can't leave a mark you can't cause pain now tell me how i can beat my wife is that what the quran says that's in a hadith uh -huh. i'm asking what the quran says why can't i why can't i use the hadith if, if someone says me if someone says okay if i say to you Go and, go and beat that person over there. Is that a clear instruction? It's a clear instruction. It's not a clear instruction because do you, do you beat them up till they're black and blue? Do you just give them a, a sort of a little clap, a little clap on, on their backside? It, I, for, okay, for me, it doesn't matter. It's violence against the person. So you're choosing. You, you, you know full well that we have our Quran and, and, so, and we, we use the Hadith to, to, tell, us, to tell us certain uh, details. We don't, ignore, we don't ignore what our Prophet, peace be in the guidance, he said. And, and it's very clear that a Muslim man cannot cause pain, can't strike the face, and he can't, and he can't leave a mark. So, so now tell me where I can beat my wife. Well, if you take Muhammad in the Hadith, well, then you know that he struck Aisha, that she felt pain. How's that? But am I allowed to? My commandment is I'm not allowed to. That the Prophet hey, Muhammad, him, well, said, he, he also Muhammad had, said you can go and rape female captives and enjoy it while you're at it. Do you do that too? Sure. Yes. Of I don't. So why not if Muhammad allows it? I, I don't have slaves, do I? Why then not if Muhammad allows it? Why, why, are you, why are you moving off topic? So can we, can you, no, can, you are telling you me that you are following can hadith you admit, and you are not. Can you admit that you've been refuted on the beat the wife? That I can't be no, of course not. What, 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 you, what have you done? What, 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 what have you refuted? I've not refuted anything and you have not refuted anything. I've just asked I've you a question you. whether you think you. that you... I've just proven wife, you that as a Muslim, as a Muslim, no, you're not as a Muslim I can't beat my wife. And you, you've tried to use that as an example of misogyny. So so there you go. You've been refuted on that point. If sir. you know who I asked you and you said no, how's that a refutation? You, no, you don't know I've, what refutation is either. You don't understand misogyny. You don't know are, refutation. Are you, are you being serious? Are you being serious? Am I being trolled at the moment? Told I'm you. asking you a question and you say no. So is that a, is that what you call a refutation? Okay, okay. Let, let, let me just, for the clarification of yourself, you said, can I beat my wife? I said no. You inferred that I can. I then gave I you... I did not I then, that. You did. You when did. did I do that? You did. You did. Oh, so so you, weren't, you, weren't, you weren't giving the implication that I can beat my wife in Islam? I did not say that you oh, are I'm allowed sure. to beat your wife in Islam. He okay. says something. Ten seconds I said before, that there are. He says you, you're mis. You're it's not saying the truth. Stop spamming. I said, I, I'm not. I'm honestly not here to, to beat you in a debate or to win points. I, I'm, exactly. I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. It's my life choice. Uh, any of these kind of tactics, they don't really hold weight with me. I don't really care. If if you want to, you you know, I, I'm here talking honestly with you, and and I, 